Recent budget cuts in Arizona mean some financial assistance programs will be significantly scaled back. Investigative reporter Sydney Glenn explored how that will affect families who need the money the most. The federal limit for TANF benefits, known as temporary assistance for needy families, is five years. In 2010, Arizona reduced that to 36 months. In 2011, 24 months. And come this summer, there will be a 12-month lifetime limit, the most restrictive in the country. Families seek help from places like St. Mary's Food Bank when times are tough. Many are receiving monthly stipends from TANF, but come July, about half of those people will be dropped. Isenia Yavano has four children. Her youngest is just two. She says she's nervous about how she'll make up for the lost money. It's out good with the bills and everything. In order to receive TANF benefits, people must have dependent children, be considered a needy family, enroll in the jobs program, and make sure their children are immunized and in school. Tom Riley with the Morrison Institute recently did a study on the cuts. The blue bars in this graph show how direct help to needy families has decreased since 1998. So over the years, uh, the state has reduced the amount a family can receive, uh, and it also reduced the uh, lifetime limit. Cynthia Zwick with the Arizona Community Action Association fears that people won't be ready when the money stops. They're going to need help with shelter, they're going to need help with food, they're going to need help with rent and utility assistance. The Department of Economic Security estimates that when this new policy goes into effect come July, roughly 1,600 cases will be dropped, which could result in more families relying on places like here at St. Mary's Food Bank, where they already provide enough food for a quarter of a million meals a day. Karen McLaughlin with the Children's Action Alliance said for some families, 12 months may be enough, but not for all. But there are other families that face multiple issues. If they're homeless, if they're d victims of domestic violence, if they have children who have disabilities or other issues or they themselves have disabilities, it takes a longer period of time to get those issues dealt with and help that family find a job. The average family receives $195 a month, but needy families may not be the only ones that need to prepare. It's not an increase in the number of resources available for them, so it's a strain on the community that is always asked to help through contributions of food, through the support of nonprofit organizations. One of the main goals of TANF is to get poor families off of government assistance and in a sustainable career, but McLaughlin is concerned that that's just not happening. And we don't think that anything is being done to help the parents get a job that will sustain their family for the rest of the, the child's life. Um, so, and I think that's what the TANF program was intended to do when it f first was created. This summer will bring big changes for families on TANF. You know, one thing I know about these families is they're resilient and they will work as hard as they can to make ends meet in the meantime. According to the Economic Department of Security, this new policy will save the state about $4 million a year from the $9.1 billion budget. For a full multimedia report, visit cronkitenews.azpbs.org. With the investigative team, I'm Sydney Glenn, Cronkite News.